Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers. It's only natural that a project of the Queen Elizabeth-class carrier scale would attract the kind of attention that it has. It means that it's already doing part of the job it was commissioned to do, to be a conspicuous presence, a key feature of being a deterrent. With a lifespan of 50 years, HMS Queen Elizabeth and HMS Prince of Wales will continue to have an impact around the world as they safeguard the UK's interests well into the future. Much has been said about the HMS Queen Elizabeth. But some key facts get lost in the noise. Like the reality that the UK is an island nation, something that affects the livelihood of every single person living in Britain. And that, despite all the advances in technology and air travel, 95% of Britain's economic activity depends on the oceans. To question why the UK needs an aircraft carrier is to ignore the realities of being a significant player on the global stage with peacetime, wartime and humanitarian responsibilities. It's to disregard the power that a statement of intent makes, the engineering achievements of modern-day British shipbuilders, and the long-term benefit that comes with protecting the waters that Britain depends on for its prosperity, resources and raw materials. When all is said and done, how does a country show it is serious about its plans and ambitions? This is the driving question behind any aircraft carrier. Because an aircraft carrier backs up the words of its leaders with an indisputable presence, and, when necessary, action. Iconic projects aren't always immediately appreciated. The Eiffel Tower, the Empire State Building, Sydney Opera House. Like the HMS Queen Elizabeth, they've all had to overcome scrutiny and skepticism. And like the HMS Queen Elizabeth, the vision behind them was an ambitious one. From a manpower perspective, there are 3,000 people in Recife, with another 8,000 people working at sites around the country. Then there's the wider supply chain network, involving hundreds of companies around the UK. In short, the jobs created and the effort going into this new British icon are unprecedented for a single project in the 21st century. It's a testament to the capability of UK manufacturing, proving that remarkable engineering feats run in Britain's blood.